Welcome everyone. Happy holidays. I've got this fun treat that you can make. It's simple. It's fast. You can take it to the office, take it to work, take it to a potluck, whatever you're doing this holiday season and everyone absolutely loves them. All you need is um, a few little pretzels here. Now these are the small tiny um, crisscross pretzels. I've got some white chocolate that I've melted here. If you want to use dark, you may do that. But I like the white, and this is the chocolate brand I like. It's the Ghirardelli, and they're the white chocolate wafers. They melt very nicely. And then I've got a few candy canes, and um, I've taken this candy cane out of its wrapper, and I'm going to crush it up using the bottom of the spoon, or you may use a rolling pin. And then once you get them all smashed up, you're just going to put them over here in a tiny bowl. We're going to take a pretzel. We're going to dip it halfway into the white chocolate. Tap it on the side to get off the excess chocolate. And now we're going to just dab it in the peppermint. Just like that. And then you can lie it down here and let the chocolate harden and the peppermint will stick. And when you bite into it, you've got the peppermint and the little salt from the pretzel and the creamy white chocolate. It's absolutely fantastic. So you can make as many of these as you wish. And as a matter of fact, i have lying these on parchment paper down here. It doesn't take long for the chocolate to set up at all. And it's just a really refreshing little treat for everyone in your home or at the office or church or wherever you want to take them. When these set up, I'm going to show you how to put together a three tier gift package including all kinds of fun foods and you can find them all here on my food channel. The things you're going to need for this three tiered food gift package is graduating sizes of boxes. This is going to be my largest. Here's the medium size and here's the smallest size. All right so in this one I am going to add peanut brittle and if you don't know how to make peanut brittle check out the link below on how to make peanut brittle. Now, in this one, I'm adding thumbprint cookies and ginger snaps. And if you don't know how to make those, I've also added the link below in the description box of this video. And of course, in this one, we're going to add the pretzels that we've just dipped in white chocolate and rode in crushed peppermint candy canes. You're gonna need ribbon. Now, any kind of ribbon will do, but I've just chose this frilly, um, green, red, and gold ribbon. You're going to need tissue paper. This is a 20 by 20 inch squares of tissue paper. I've got it in red and green. If you want to use white or whatever color, that would be great. And then I've made name tags. As you can see on this side, I've written peanut brittle. That'll go in our largest box. I've added the thumbprint and ginger snap cookies on this one. And I've added the white peppermint pretzels on this one. So let me show you how we're going to get this tier together. In this one I'm adding the peanut brittle. Here's the peanut brittle. I've added a pound to a one quart Ziploc bag and I'm lining the box here with some green tissue. Doesn't matter what color, just add your own. And now we're going to add in the peanut brittle down the corners and now you can just stuff the tissue around the edges where there's a little space left here in the box and then you add your name tag so when they open it they'll know what it is and on goes the box. Now for the second tin, I'm using a tin for the second one, I've cut the 20 by 20 inch tissue paper in half and I'm adding red to this one just down in there. And in a sandwich Ziploc bag, I've added one ginger snap in each. And I fold over the back, and you're just going to place it down in the bottom. Now, I've got about a half a dozen ginger snaps, and depending on your container size, will tell you how many you can add um, to your box here. All right, so I've got six going in, and here on the top, I'm adding the thumbprint cookies just going to go crossways because it gets a little too snug when we go side to side. And now, again, you're going to cover it with tissue. Add your tag that says 
thumbprint cookies and ginger snip cookies and on with the lid now for the last one is our small one that we have here i've taken the tissue and over the tissue i've added plastic wrap or if you want you may put your pretzels in little ziploc bags and now we're going to just smash this down in here until it goes all the way down into the corners of your container because you want to get as many of these little pretzels as you can down in here and that looks perfect and here goes our pretzels and oh my goodness what a wonderful little surprise this is going to be now like i said you can use a ziploc snack size bag um, or if you'd like to use tin foil you may do that too whatever is really convenient for you but i just find that if you use saran wrap over your tissue it's going to hold um, many more of these little pretzels in this container oops and one goes flying all right now we're going to cover it up seal it with the saran wrap and fold over your tissue and of course don't forget to add your lovely little gift cards so they'll know what they're eating all right now we've got a layer and i'll show you what it looks like it's growing to stack the box i'm starting with the peanut brittle then i'm adding the cookies right on top and then our pretzels as the top little container there and now i've got my ribbon i've put them together you want to start here with the ends like this got the gold the green and the red and i'm starting from underneath the bottom box you're just going to slide them right under like this alrighty get in there and you're going to bring it all the way to the top until you can tie it nice and securely all right so with your scissors we're going to snap this side and now you're going to give it a little tie and it's best if you're working with two people because someone will be able to hold their finger there but now i've done this enough to where i think i'm going to be able to do it because you definitely want to tie it in to a knot so let's see if i can do this all right there it is and i got it you're starting with the ends of the ribbon again you're going to turn it this way and go up the other two sides okay and now remember we've got it to the top we're just going to cut off the ends right here and tie it nice and tie it to the top hold it down here at the top i've added um, a little bit of the ribbon in through some little tiny ornaments one's a bell one's a christmas bulb and you're going to find another loose ribbon end and tie those to make it real festive just like that and remember don't forget your name tag some lucky recipient is going to have a very merry christmas with this hey y'all thanks for watching happy holidays merry christmas and i'll catch you next time